I'm Brian Smallwood, the head coach for the boys and girls varsity tennis teams at Hawken. And today we're doing a skill called the slice backhand. Now, um, the slice backhand is typically used for the high intermediate to advanced levels. And I wanted to go over the grip set that we'll be using on this. It's very important. So the knuckle on a slice, on a slice is on two and the base of the hand is on one. So if you notice there, we already went over the numbers in the previous sessions. Knuckle is on two, base of the hand coming off at one. And this is the same as a one-handed backhand volley. And we, if you've seen the serve videos, this is also the same for a slice serve. So for those of you who are two-handed backhand players, um, you're used to rotating when you hit a ball. So when you go back, you, you take your racket back, you drop down, and you come through, and your body rotates through, and you end up like this. So your body starts forward, turns sideways, and then ends up facing forward when you're done. Not so with a slice backhand. A slice backhand is actually a closed position stroke, and the contact point is significantly further out in front than it is for a two-handed backhand. So when you go to hit a two-handed backhand, the left arm only allows you to, to get slightly in front of the body, where the one-handed slice allows you to extend the arm out and make contact way out in front here, okay? So we're gonna go over the technique on this, and then I have a special guest star that's gonna do some demos on this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out in front of our body with our left hand on the throat. This is very important. Normally in a ready position, we're at that three and a half, but we're gonna shift it over for this slice. The racket head goes back, and when it goes back, the head of the racket goes back by my left ear. The racket face is slightly open, and then I'm gonna step in towards the ball with a squared stance and lean in and make contact out in front of the ball, okay? So again, we're turning in the preparation phase, the hitting phase comes through, we make contact out in front, the elbow's slightly bent, and then it goes from bent to extended. You'll also notice that my left arm pulls away from my racket as I do this. So it takes it out in this nice little circuit, and then I move forward and the arms separate. Okay, so um, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, I'm a rising junior at Hawkins School and my name is Praveen Kumar. I play first singles for the boys varsity tennis team. Okay, so Praveen's going to hit some slice backhands for us. You'll hit slice backhands for approach shots from the middle of the court, where Praveen is now, but the slice backhand is very, very versatile. So he was in this area, this is where the approach happens, but the slice backhand is used for the following things. When you're running in and you're barely getting to the ball, and you have a two-handed back and you can't reach with two hands, then you're gonna actually let go and slice this ball out. The only difference is the racket head has to open up in order for the ball to go up into the court. Another time that you can use this is on the baseline, all the way back to the baseline here, which Praveen's going to demo in a second, where um, you're going to actually slice when you can't reach a ball going wide out here, but also a lot of players use the slice to change up the kind of ball that they're hitting. So what I'm going to ask Praveen to do here is he's going to set up, and I'm going to give him the wide ball where he's going to dig it out, um, we're doing about three or four of those, but then he's going to hit some two-handed backhands. Where he's going to mix in a slice to show us that variety.
wrap it up, the one-handed slice is a very versatile weapon. You can use it a lot, especially as a two-hander. You have to learn how to hit a one-handed slice. You can't reach everything with two hands. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.